Now next fiber which we are going to discuss is nylon. So we are going to discuss now about nylon. Now nylon the word the spelling it is nylon. So why this nylon does this word has got any reason or any meaning. So this word is taken uh, uh, from the two words. Now I will be talking first of all why it is taken. This nylon was made at two places simultaneously. One is New York. It was made at New York as well as in London. Now that is the reason the name is taken from the two words over here that is NY and lawn of London and in this way the name comes nylon. So nylon is the synthetic fiber I can say now this one is the first synthetic fiber it is first synthetic fiber. So nylon is the first synthetic fiber and this word nylon means what it is made of two words uh, NY which has taken which has been taken from the word New York NY and LON uh, is for London. Why it is done so because it was made at two places simultaneously and that is New York and London that is the reason the word nylon has been taken. Now as I said this is the first synthetic material first synthetic fiber and basically this is a polyamide. Now when I say that the nylon is polyamide that means it is made up of artificial polyamide. If I talk about only polyamide this word so if we talk about this word so even wool and silk are the natural polyamides isn't it? N uh, silk and wool are natural polyamide. But this one is the artificial one and it is made by using coal, air and even water that means the petroleum product it is used by uh, it is made by sorry it is made by using coal. So this is a synthetic polyamide and this was the first fabric which was made totally artificially here natural things are not utilized. Now natural thing means I am talking about natural cellulose. Uh, now what is the next to talk about nylon? Now we will talk about certain properties of nylon. So how what is the pro what are the properties of nylon? As I told before also that at the end of the chapter we are going to discuss certain very common properties of synthetic material all the synthetic material but as now we have to discuss about the properties of nylon. So nylon basically is very light material it is very light material light in the sense it is not too heavy light but it is very strong also. Now when I use this word strong so it has got highest tensile strength. Now what is the meaning of this and how can we prove this? To prove this if an experiment is done just take the thread of the nylon take wool and also take the thread of cotton. Now try to add weight on this we have to break this thread. So you will find you will have to keep on adding weights to break this first of all you start with cotton. 
Now when we have to break the cotton you will add certain weight on this so that it can be broken. Then you will do with wool and uh, wool and then you will do with nylon. You will be surprised to know that you will need more weights in case of nylon. That means you will have to put more you will have to add weight more weight to uh, to break the nylon. That means the strength the if we talk about the the power the strength of the material tensile strength of the material then nylon has got the highest tensile strength then it can be followed or it is followed by wool and the least strain uh, strength if you talk about it is of cotton. So that is the reason I have written over here that this one is light it one is this one is strong. Now nylon do not absorb water do not absorb water. Now when this do not absorb water means it dries also faster because it will be absorbing very less amount of water. So it will be dried can be dried or dry easily. To do this see to prove the tensile strength we did a small experiment that we took the three kinds of thread nylon thread wool and then again along with this we have taken the thread of cotton also. And we kept on adding the weights and we just observed that which thread needs more weight to be uh, you know to divide to break them. So I told that here nylon needs more weight or it will be little difficult to break nylon more weight, weight has to be added. So the one which will be broken first will be cotton then wool and the third one will be nylon. In the same way when I say that it do not absorb water and it dries easily or dry easily. So even to prove this you can take uh, the example you can do this also take two mugs or two cups and add or take equal amount of water in that and then take the cotton fabric cotton material uh, hanky or whatever a piece of equal you know length uh, of two pieces of one of what one of uh, cotton and the other one of nylon. You put the both the clo cloth in this separate uh, mug and then uh, do, uh, remove it out remove extra water from the cloth and you will find uh, that cotton absorbs more cotton absorbs more water and then the second thing which has to be noticed is put this put both this cloth to dry hang it somewhere. Now you will find which will get uh, which will be the one which will remain wet for longer time or which will dry up faster. So you will find that nylon gets far, uh, you know nylon get become dry faster it dries up faster. Why? Because the amount of water which is absorbed is less and so definitely it is uh, uh, when the, the amount of water is inside is less and so it is going to dry faster. So till now what we have read that nylon is the first metal which is totally synthetic it is used uh, it is made sorry it is made by using cold air and water it is a natural polyamide. And when we talk about polyamide the silk and the wool are the natural polyamides and then if we, uh, we, we know that the it is it was made simultaneously in New York and London and so the words are being taken from this uh, New York and London and so it is known as nylon. If we talk about the properties this one is light but strong light means weight wise it is very light but it is very strong and it do not absorb uh, that means it is do not absorb means it do not it is not a good absorbent. So we can take this in two ways it gets uh, it do not absorb means sweat also it would not absorb is not it 
so it is not a sweat absorbent it won't absorb sweat but it won't absorb water also i am just trying to explain this i am not writing this here in detail so when it comes about the summer season uh, this cannot be used much because it is not the good absorbent and when it comes in the rainy when when we talk about the rainy season this can be used because it gets it get, it dries up faster now next point is it is highly inflammable highly inflammable now what is the word this uh, inflammable uh, me, me, uh, what is the, what does it mean inflammable means it catches fire very soon that is the reason nylon clothes are never suggested to uh, use in the kitchen one should uh, avoid nylon if uh, has to work in kitchen aprons cannot be made by uh, nylon why because it catch, catches fire easily and the second thing it uh, melts and it stick to the body you know it get turned up and get uh, stuck to the body and that is the reason it is not at all uh, advised to use in the kitchen now uh the what are the other properties like as i told this one is synthetic so will not be attacked or it is or it it remains safe from the moth and the other insects so is not attacked is not attacked by moth or natural i'll have to rub this it is not attacked by moth or insects and water gets evaporated from this very soon that means we have covered this one that it gets dried up very easily now what is the next now the next is uses one more point i would like to add over here it resist wrinkle it resist wrinkles that means it do not get wrinkled easily it can it do not required ironing you know uh, and even if it is iron you know at higher temperature it will uh, get stick to the iron and first of all it doesn't required ironing much ironing is not at all required in case of nylon and as and already written that it is highly inflammable and uh, it burns very soon that is the reason uh, that it is wrinkle free do not require ironing now it resists wrinkles and it takes only the permanent creases now what are the uses of this material it is used to make socks it is even used to make ro ro ropes tires now when i say it is used to make socks that means it has also got the property of elasticity so it has also got the property of little bit of elasticity now what are the uses it is used to make socks it is used to make ropes it is used to make tires like you know many uses are there it is used to make parachute then it is used to make the the climbing ropes which i have already written then you know again the bristles of the first of all i write the parachute over here it is used to make parachutes then it is also used to make the bristles of brushes it is used to make the bristles of the brushes so these all are the qualities of the uh, uh, what these all are the properties of the nylon which is what the synthetic fiber and this one was the first synthetic fiber fiber uh, and it was made at the two places simultaneously we have discussed the properties as well as the uses of this also 
now we will move to the next material next fabric next fiber please note this now we will talk about the next fiber and that is polyester Here the name itself is suggesting that it is made up of what? We know poly means many and easter is easter it has got fruity smell. So, these are uh, what actually the this polyester is what actually it is made up of the small units of easter. That means it is a polymer which is made by or it is made up of small units or small monomers of ester. So, polyester is a polymer of ester and it has got fruity smell. What are the different characteristic? What are the other different characteristic of the polyester? Polyester is actually very commonly, uh, you know, uh, can be seen in our houses also. Like actually, it is used to make many bottles, the transparent one, especially the jars, which we use to keep the pickles and the scissors also many a times, and. Uh, now, polyester is actually the uh, one which has a strong resistance towards the chemicals has got strong resistant to chemicals or towards the chemicals. Now, it has got strong resistance to chemicals or res it resists or it do not reacts actually. It do not reacts with the chemicals and that is the reason it is used to make many jars uh, which is used to keep the pickles, maybe the to make the water bottles, maybe sometimes uh, it, uh, you may have seen the you know the uh, difference also. And especially you know one material is available in the market and if you use uh, the bottles uh, of uh, uh, you know polyester which has got polyester. So, you will find that PET is written over there at the bottom and these are very uh, good material it is very it keeps the thing uh, well uh, edible food edibles actually why because it has the you no know, it, it do not react with the chemicals easily it do not react with the food atoms also and so the uh, the chances of food to be spoiled or you know to uh, have uh, like you know the sometimes the, change, the taste changes all these problem one do not uh, come across when the jars are made up of polyester. So, it is what actually it is it is a polymer which is made up of the monomers which kind of monomers easter monomers it has got a strong uh, resistance power or it resists to the chemicals that means it do not react with the chemicals now in the market there are again you know, few names which are very common like terline decron so all these has got polyester in it uh, you might have also heard uh, this word polycot, polycot and even poly wool. Now, poly is there, poly is there and cot and wool is there. That means it is a mixture of the polyester as well as cotton. So, this one is the mixture of polyester and cotton. At the same time this one is mixture of polyester and wool. So, how it is done? Nothing but the two fibers are blend together to make the fabric and 
when two different kinds of uh, fibers are used to make the fabric then definitely it is going to have the characteristics of both that means the poly cot will have the qualities of polyester also and cotton also and at the same time poly wool is going to have definitely the quality of the polyester also as well as the wool also so uh, these two three things uh, we can uh, uh, see you know we can do like we can see the uh, bottles which are using especially in the refrigerators just turn over and see that whether pet is written on or not so th these are the very common properties of the polyester now what are the characteristic features of the polyester first of all it is not too much of elastic it is not too elastic it is not too elastic that means now we have read that nylon was elastic and so it is used to make the stockings or socks but uh, this one polyester is not too much elastic and so it is not very favorable or it is not very good uh, material and cannot be used in making the uh, stockings or the socks now but then where it is used and uh, what are the other properties see i told in the beginning only that on the basis of the properties only uses are there as it is not too elastic this is a property but then the use also depends upon the property so that is the reason it cannot be used to make the stockings and the socks as it do not have the elasticity in it now it is a uh, very you know just now i told that it do not reacts easily with the chemicals and so it is also used in uh, you know various chemical industries chemical industries to make to make protective dresses to make protective dresses it is used to make various kinds of protective dresses as it do not react with the chemicals and so many protective dresses can be uh, made by the polyester now i have written use over here but actually we were talking about the uh, features so again as it is a synthetic fiber it is not attacked by the mold uh, not attacked by mold or insects now along with that this one also can be written or used as the uh, this point can be used as a property if just you know it is used in chemical industries as it do not reacts with the chemical it is it shows resistance and it do not reacts with the uh, chemicals now again it also uh, these all will be similar actually for all the synthetic uh, fibers that it dries up quickly and do not absorb much so do not absorb now it is very clear when i say do not absorb that means it is i am talking about sometimes maybe uh, you can even talk about water you may even discuss about this sweat but it do not uh, absorb the water or the sweat and that is the reason uh, that uh, it dries up quickly it dries up or dry or dries up or should i should write dries up quickly that means the water gets evaporated from it very fast that means it do not absorb water same one and the same thing why this is happening with all the synthetic because the pores present in them are very very small the pores are very small but in the cotton if we talk about the pores are big that is the reason the water can be absorbed but here the water cannot be absorbed because the pores are very very small 
Now, these all are the properties. Again, it is also wrinkle free. Can be colored. Colored easily. Is available in transparent. Or translucent or opaque material, then as I have written that it can be colored easily, that means in market various kind of colors are available and see again the use, that is the reason it is used in making bottles. That is the reason that it can be used in making uh, the you no know, different uh, different and lunch lunch boxes for children because we all know the small kids love beautiful you know colorful things. So again, it is like that only. Now, <coughs> it is also used in making conveyor belt. It is also used in making sill sill of the boats. It is also used in making fire horses. So all these uses are there and along with this the properties also I have written, I have written both the things in combination because the properties and uses are totally you know uses where we are going to use the thing according to their properties only. So <coughs> we are talking about polyester which is a polymer of ester it is made by the small small units of or the monomers of ester <coughs> now it is available in different forms like pet then terline terine even one more decron is there and polycord polyvul polycord polyvul are the uh, semi synthetic material it is a mixture of the polyester and cotton and wool respectively and so the different kinds of things are uh, made uh, which can be uh, no, used in our daily life. It is uh, it do not it, it the, these uh, uh, the things which are being made you know or we can say even a simple line that these uh, polyesters do not have elasticity to they are not too much of elastic and so they cannot be used in making the stockings and the socks they have the small they do not react with the chemical and that is the reason they are used in making different kinds of bottles uh, household uh, kitchen uh, edibles or I should say edibles can be kept in that they are used in the chemical industries as I told they do not react easily with the chemicals they are wrinkle free, they dry up quickly, they are not good absorbent, they uh, are free from the attack of the moths and the insects and again uh, you know again they can be colored and dyed in different different colors, they can be transparent you may have, you might have seen the bottles are transparent but the different boxes are every time they are not transparent they have uh, different colors and they are not always transparent. So, they can be transparent, they are available in that transparent way, translucent and even the opaque you will get. So, all these are the properties along with the uses of the polyester and as again again I am saying that the synthetic material will have one or the other common uses in it. Now, this was all about polyester and now uh, we are going to talk about the next uh, uh, synthetic material or synthetic fiber we are going to talk about now please note this.